In this video, we're going to see who's better. Is it me, the human, or is the AI, chat, GPT? I have a list of three things in front of me. These three things are leader sites, data store, and a kill break. We're going to see who can script them better. So to get started, I'm going to start off by scripting leader stats. Also, I didn't mention we are going to be using coins. Alright guys, let's see if it works. As you can see, it is working. I'm in the game and I have zero coins. Now let's ask the AI what it can do. Can you script a leader stat Roblox script that has one stat all coins? The AI is currently giving me the script. Let's see what it does. Up until here, I did think it was wrong, but now from reading here, it is a pretty smart way to do it. Looks like it's doing a lot of extra stuff that I just didn't ask for. Looks like it's doing something really weird. It's trying to update a text label inside a model, but it didn't put anything inside. Let's try out the code. We're back in Roblox Studio. Let's go ahead and create a new script and try it out. Also guys, I'm going to be disabling my script. Alright guys, I'm in the game and it looks like there are no coins. Let's go ahead and see what it tried to do. There's a leaderboard folder and leader stats and coins. Kind of weird, but I guess the AI did fail here. So that's one point for me and zero points for the AI. Let's try and make a data store. That took a little longer than it should have, but I am done my data store script. Let's go ahead and try it out. I forgot to mention that I do need to enable one setting right here. It's called Studio Access to API Services. Now that I'm in the game, I'm going to try to give myself some coins and see if they save. For some reason, it looks like I tried changing the coin stats from the client instead of the server, meaning the game actually never saw the coin change and only I saw it. That's why I didn't save. The script probably worked. Alright guys, so I'm just going to change my coin stats to something like 55. Now let's go ahead and leave the game. Alright guys, it's the moment of truth, let's go ahead and load in. Okay guys, so for some reason the script did not work and it didn't even give me an error, so we're just gonna have to see if the AI can do anything about it. So I'm just gonna ask the AI, can you write a Roblox script that saves my coins stat and loads it when I rejoin? Let's see what the AI can do. Looks like it's doing the same thing again, so I'm gonna try and paste this in a brand new chat. So I just put it into a brand new chat, let's see what it does. Looks like it's actually working now instead of doing what it was doing before, which obviously didn't work. I'm not sure if it's getting the code online from the dev forum somewhere, but it's using invoke server and fire server, but I don't have any remote events in my game. So basically this code will not work. Guys, I'm just gonna ask it to use data store service. Can you, can you use data store service instead? Let's see what the AI says. We're starting off good with data store service. We're also creating a data store. So, so far it's going good. Looks like it's also using set async. However, it's not using a P call, which basically catches an error if it does happen. Looks like it is using one down here, but it didn't use one up here. Now it's just explaining the script. So let's go ahead and copy and try it out. So I'm just gonna replace my script with the AIs. And looks like we do have an error, but I think I can fix it. Let's just change player leaving to player removing and see what it does. No errors so far. Let's give ourselves some coins. Looks like it is looking for a coin stat inside my player instead of inside my leader stats. So I'm just going to fix that in the script. Player dot leader stats. Player dot leader stats. Player dot leader stats. Let's go ahead and try this out. By the way, guys, I will not be giving the AI the point for this one since I'm literally fixing the script for it. Let's switch over to the server and try giving myself some coins. So in this folder, I'm just going to go ahead and change my coin number. Let's give ourselves 65 coins and leave the game. Alright guys, we're back. Let's go in and hit play. And it looks like my coins did load. That's why I think ChatGPT is a great tool if you already have some scripting skills. You can fix up the scripts and it works really, really well. Now for the last challenge, let's go ahead and try making a kill break. This is my part right here. I'm just going to go ahead and create a script inside it. This is my really simple script right here. Let's go ahead and try it out. Alright guys, we are in the game right now. Let's go ahead and step on the part and see what happens. Looks like I did forget to include this small little detail. Let's go ahead and try it out again. I'm back in the game. And as you can see, it works. It did kill me. Now let's see what the AI can do. I'm going to ask ChatGPT to create a Roblox script that kills a player when they step on a part called part in the workspace. Let's see what the AI says. It says, here's a script you can use to kill a player when they step on a part called part in the workspace. Looks like it is waiting for the part, which is perfect. And I think the script looks amazing. Let's go ahead and try it. I'm just going to delete my script and paste the AI script in. This script can actually run from server script service. All right, guys, we're in the game. Now let's step on the part. As you can see, it does work, so the AI's code is also working. So since we did die, we both did not get any points for that round. That means it's 1-0 for the humans. Guys, AI is not going to take us over just yet. It's going to be a couple more years until maybe we see AI taking over some jobs. But for now, we are pretty safe. Anyways, guys, if this video was pretty entertaining, go ahead and press like and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.